Welcome to our tutorial on how to complete the EOP application. Before proceeding, please be sure that you have already created your Cal State Apply account. You can check out our video showing you how to create your account by clicking the card on the screen. Once you have logged into your account and have completed your profile, you will land on this dashboard page and you will see four quadrants that make up the Cal State application. Click the supporting information quadrant and you'll see there are four sections to complete your EOP application. Selecting the first one gives you a short overview on what EOP is and gives you a few resources on learning more about EOP services along with deadlines for each campus. Please be sure to check this link to be aware of the deadlines for each campus you are applying to as each campus may have separate deadlines for your application. Please select yes, where you see do you wish to apply for the educational opportunity program. If you have previously been to an EOP at a S, uh, CSU campus, please answer the question yes. Otherwise, you can click no or not applicable if it's as is, is relevant to you. Next, you will answer if you are or were a part of a few educational programs. Please check the appropriate box or boxes of programs that you may have been a part of. Once checked, you will have to add dates and locations for each program. If you have not been in any of these programs, you can leave the section blank and move. Next, answer if you'll be living on campus with your parents or off-campus housing, or an apartment, or other according to whatever pertains to you. After that, insert a number into the box for how many brothers and sisters are currently attending a K-12 school, how many brothers and sisters are attending or attended college, how many brothers and sisters received a bachelor's degree? If none, you may enter zero in the appropriate boxes. Then briefly type in the box provided any languages spoken at home. For the last three questions, you will answer yes if the question applies to you or no if they do not. If you answer yes, you will need to uh, answer a few extra questions. Once you complete these questions, click save and continue to move on to the next part of the application. For part two, you will be answering questions about your parents or guardians. First click yes to access the questions in this section. You must complete all sections in this quadrant to have a complete EOP application. If at any point in the section the information does not apply to you, type in the box does not apply. You will add the name or of parent or guardian one in the first box. Then use the drop down menu in the second to answer the highest level of parent or guardian number one. Please note that postgraduate means your parent or guardian completed a master's or a doctorate degree. Next, you will type parent or guardian one occupation, what their occupation was 10 years ago. Repeat these steps for parent and guardian two, if it applies to you. And if not, answer does not apply. For the financial portion of this section, you will be making estimates on your financial status please be as accurate as possible. Also note that students must complete the FAFSA application separately and all figures will be verified using the information on the FAFSA. Answer parent and guardian number one, 2019 estimated slash actual income to the best of your ability and also parent one, 2018 actual income. Then answer the total size of parent guardian's household, including yourself, including applicant, 
participants, uh, parents, dependent children, and other dependents. If you are independent of parental support, click yes. Go ahead and answer the next questions to the best of your ability. Click and continue to uh, save and continue to move on. Section three is the EOP biographical question portion of the application. This is the section where you will get a chance to explain more about yourself so e EOP can get to know you. Please take your time and answer precisely and honestly as possible while keeping in mind the character limit for each question. You may come back to the section if you need more time to think to complete your answers. You could also copy and paste questions, the questions onto a separate document, then copy and paste your answers back here once you're done. Feel free to use that, the option, no, I will return later to complete these EOP questions, but keep in mind that you need to submit these answers to have a complete application on file. The EOP recommendations must be completed to finish your EOP application. Please be sure to speak with the person you would like to recommend you for EOP before sending this request as courtesy to them as you may need to assist them in this process. Fill in first and last name, email address, EOP deadline as per each campus, and a personal message to your recommender. Answer if you would like to see inform the information once it has been submitted or not. Then check the two boxes that you understand and authorize the information to be sent to the recommender. Click save and the recommender will receive an email to complete the, recommend uh, re the recommender form. Most campuses do require two recommendations, so you must complete this process twice. And there you have it, the information that you need for the EOP application. If you have any questions, please contact the EOP office at San Diego State. If you are applying to EOP at San Diego State, our phone number is 619-594-6298. Additionally, you may email us and the contact information can be found on the screen. Thank you for watching this video.